Hi there. Just wanted to stop by quick and give you a little bit of a, a short how to get SVGs off my blog or out of the classroom and into design space. So let's pop over to the blog. And if you're not sure how to find that, you're going to want to go to caramiller.com and click on blog. And when you get in there, you'll see, not always, but sometimes when I'm sharing an SVG, I will give you a couple of different options. So this is one I posted on Sunday. And there is a way to get it off of the, this actual website, but sometimes, depending on what setup you have in your system or uh, safety items that you might have, sometimes websites block it or don't let it come through nice and clean. So. I've also decided to keep putting them in the classroom. So I'm going to show you how to get them out of the classroom. So it says, if it isn't working, I've also uploaded this free simple in the free classroom. Well, that means you have to go to another place, but let's do that. So we click there and that will bring you in. Now, if you're not already, this brings you directly to it, but if you're not already enrolled in this free class, it's probably going to bring you here. And this says, enroll free. It's free, there's no catch, I promise, nothing. Once you've enrolled, and anytime I do something free on Facebook or I upload any free simples, for the whole year, I put them in this one place so it's easy to find. <clears throat> and you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna see free simples, okay? So when you click, when you go into there, let's just get into one, um, you will see, Sunday Simples. You're going to click on that and that's the Sunday Simple that I shared on my blog. I can't get to where it was though. Oh, that one. Sorry. So that's this simple right here. Okay. And if you're wondering, lady, what are you talking about? A simple is a, well, simple way to scrapbook. It's basically one piece that you cut with your Cricut or any other die cut machine that can cut an SVG and it lays down on your page. So this is 11.5 by 11.5. It covers my full 12 by 12 sheet and it has my photo mats ready to just pop my photos in. This particular one was used, used four, four by six straight up photos. I didn't crop them. I didn't do anything with them. I just popped them on in there. So that's what an SVG simple is. When you come in here, you'll see that you can download it. So here's how we get it into Design Space so that you can cut it. You're gonna click on it and it's going to wanna save it. Now I'm using a Mac, so that's what it asked me to do. Your PC might look a little bit different, but basically it's gonna say, where would you like to download it? And I have to tell you, this is the hardest part of this entire process. You have to remember. Some people like to put them on a, on a hard drive or a file. Other people just save them to their computer. I tend to pick my desktop until I'm sure what's gonna happen. So I say save, and it's gonna bring it to my desktop. So now I'm gonna open my Cricut Design Space. And I'm gonna say upload. And now here's where the tricky part comes. I have to remember, where did I save it? Okay, so I saved it to my desktop. So I am go it's gonna go look on my computer wherever I tell it to look. It doesn't know. So it's gonna say browse. And in this case, it's looking in a different folder. No, no, no. I want you to look at the desktop. And then I have to try and remember what it was called. The reason I like to save it someplace into a folder or a place that I don't have a ton of things to look at because I have a lot of stuff on my desktop. So sometimes it's easier to save it to a little flash drive. If you have a folder set up on your desktop that you can save it to, if you, like me, just saved it willy-nilly, then I might need to remember what it was called. But it was Simple Sunday, March 8th. I'm going to click on that and say Open. Cricut's going to bring it in. Remember, this is the only time that you can put tags, and tags are little, little words that you might search for when you're looking for this again. So in this case, I'm definitely going to put simple so that I know that it's one of my designs and that it is a scrapbooking layout. 
I also might put four photos. Be sure you spell it right. And I'm good. That's all I really need. I could do scrapbook if you're thinking that might, might be a way that you would look. And you say save. When I tell you that you're looking later and you're wondering, where am I looking? If you click on images, you're thinking that you're getting all the Cricut images, right? Well, you are, but if you come over here to filter, you can say uploaded. And that's gonna just pick the ones that you have uploaded. And here's that one I just did. So I can click on that and tell it insert. And this is ready to cut. Now, if for some reason, it gives you this little symbol over here and you're wondering, how did that happen? In my case, I have this set for the joy. So that's only got a teeny, 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 teeny little map. It can't cut this. If I set it to my maker, it's super happy. And I tell it, go ahead and make it. And it pops it onto the mat and it's ready to go. All right. So first things first, you need to go to the blog and make sure that you are enrolled in my free classroom right here. And then, let's do it again, and then you're gonna go into the free simples and make sure that you've downloaded the ones that are in there, okay? All right, bye.